two years after the launch of the expanded uh, program of immunization to uh, universalize uh, access to immunization already means the aim to 2.3 million children who have not received any life-saving vaccines. This report underscores the risk of vaccine preventable infections even the death at uh, this class of children are exposed to. Immunization remains one of the most critical and cost-effective public health interventions, effectively reducing morbidity and mortality from vaccine-preventable diseases. Despite significant progress globally, recent data indicates the challenges persist in reaching all children, particularly in Nigeria. Recent data revealed that at least 2.3 million children are yet to receive critical vaccines. This alarming figure also highlights the urgent need to step up immunization campaigns to save lives. But then is immunization old-fashioned? Um, I know as a fact that immunization is very necessary for newborn, even up to, I know my first baby, I, I immunized him up to a year. Uh -huh. So, and they taught us in, in Antananta that after the birth of a child, we should always go for our immunization, we should not miss it. So, I follow up the step and the instructions. I brought my son, my two sons, for immunization. And then, and then you know, it's, it's good for fathers, you know, to be here and see the, you know, follow the exercise so that they see what maybe our mothers or our wives are passing through. So it is, it's a fun to me anyway. It's a fun for me to be here today and then, not even today, you know, last time I was here. You know, so it is just a very good one. It is very, 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 very important for immunization to go on for every kid. No reaction. I've not really noticed anything because I prepared myself before coming down here um, by giving him paracetamol and after the vaccine, I think everything is okay. Yeah, I'm doing it because it's necessary. It's necessary and um, I'll say it's important so that my child will not be deformed or have um, um, one problem or the other. UNICEF's social behavior change specialist Adironke Akinola Akinwole says Nigeria's low immunization coverage is a major contributor to the country's high child mortality rate. She, however, calls for increased immunization efforts, especially in underserved regions, to prevent avoidable child deaths. UNICEF provides um, the government of Nigeria, in collaboration with the government of Nigeria, ensures that vaccines are available at all the primary health care centers for every child. The second is vaccine security and logistics, ensuring that the vaccines are available are also potent enough to protect children from vaccine preventable diseases. And with this, they provide infrastructure that helps with the coaching system, as well as transporting the vaccines to the last mile in order to reach the children where they are. Um, the third place where um, UNICEF supports routine immunization is health system strengthening, ensuring that the capacities of health workers are adequately built through mentorship, training, and supportive supervision to be able to deliver routine immunization services at quality level in order to ensure that people continue to trust the system and make demand. And lastly, is social and behavior change in ensuring that communities are well engaged to improve vaccine trust and acceptance. For us as UNICEF, we don't want children to die of vaccine preventable diseases. Hence, everything that is required in ensuring that these things are available, they are sought for, and you know they are potent enough to prevent those diseases, UNICEF provides. The message is clear. Immunization is a shared responsibility, and protecting every child ensures a healthier future for role. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.